Did we get it? Right on time. Escadale versus Sir Spud, which I like didn't actually get the names, but I'm just assuming because of who is playing right now. It is winners finals! So first of three is gonna take it. Uh other than that I'm all alone, so it's gonna get funny. Okay. Oh I mean these guys put Oh my god. So this is why I'm just saying. Sir Spud's Gengar, I feel like deep down he enjoys the trigger trickery of uh, this character because it's just so like it just throws people off guard and like he might not do a ton of damage but if you can psych out your opponent you just get tons of stuff done and you don't get hit but he's got to eat all this damage from Garchomp oh no he's playing Gengar hi how's it going hi I'm that heavy man <laughs> Ooh, nice puddle it's gonna be super safe we're gonna put a counter into another puddle, getting that max damage in, trading off there. I'm really wondering how much of this is Sir Spud knowing Escadale's habits versus just like I'm testing the waters and getting lucky. I'm not sure. Look, I had AY. Doing just broke a lot of everything. curses, yeah. He's resting the hell. He doesn't have a mold either. I don't know how this is going to happen. Alright, Escadale's uses of Umbreon today is a little confusing to me. He keeps using it when he doesn't have. I mean, okay, he did. He, he had a lot to fear because he was running out of health, but it was neutral. So it's like, I don't know, I think, I think he's trying to Twitch react to stuff and it's doing it too early. He's, oh, I'll say he's doing a lot more reaction than trying to punish. Nice. Ooh, ah. nice. Ooh. Nice shadow punch going off from this. Uh. Yeah. Sure, <laughs> like I knew what I processed. You tried your best. That's what matters. Tried so hard. <laughs> All right, coming in with the with the move. Oh, that's high frame right there. He's getting hit. That's mass combo. That's gonna miss. No, that's hits. That's, and that's bad damage. That's bad damage. Oh, oh my, gosh. my god. Why? Mew damage Why? is something else. All he right, doesn't have Mew active. Oh uh, well, he did. I think at the beginning of that combo, but I'm not sure. All right, yeah, he knows he's got to use burst, but he didn't want to, you know, use it at the beginning. <gasps> no, why is he C A C? He's gonna get punished. Oh for no, that's oh. it though. Yeah, that's where I'm going to Sir Spud. Oh my god, Sir Spud Mega Gengar is a force to be recommended. Oh yes. Holy yes. hell. If you're way too aggressive on Gengar, Gengar has a lot more, you know, counter frames to counter that. But if you actually stay patient and wait for Sir Spud to approach him... See, we've all been trying to figure out the Gengar matchup. Just, I... just wait for Gengar to approach you. But, but then he's up close and look at his face, he's scary! You can hit his iframes. But he's scary. Just time his iframes. He has two iframes in here. So, one iframe and then Torpedo, and then you can counter Torpedo. Uh, but any other iframe, you have to fall down with, uh, what is it called? Hex. So, once they call down with Hex, you can punish them, but you have so to be careful. So, about field? What's he gotta do here? Well, Phil basically just okay, went Phil face, well, and then he, he has that pressure on him. See, oh. Gengar has no real options in on that, so as long as he stays in his face, he'll be okay. He just gotta stay in his face and make sure he's that okay. He's still, he's still in safe mode here. Just, just don't react. There you go. Nice. There you go, SK Del, ah. running pretty fast from this matchup. Pretty fast here. You're going in, getting some nice health lead off. But... There's a health lead. Spud can bring this back. Especially because your homing is wacky. It just goes under stuff. Yeah. Pocket sand! That's also wacky. I don't like it. Can buy it. Yeah, but we have to punish it. We have to, like, avoid it. Lovely spacing from Escadale. Ooh! Escadale trying to read that iframe, but mid hop disappeared. Going to the Scooby over here. Taking out a little damage off his can. Putting up the Mew. Going to get both crit and the heavy, but. Nice, ooh, nice his iframes. Ah. I mean, I saved Randall's hypnosis, putting up a reaction out of the bait. Going to crit. Nice choice, canceling out that emote. Chancing out that burst. Ah, that's the last major oh. HP. Crazy comeback by Spud. What does TV like? The TV likes you. Oh. <laughs> Alright, SK Dell learning slowly from this matchup. Getting into it. Getting a lot more patient now, waiting for Gengar to approach him. Ooh. Take that shadow punch going to fill phase, putting the shadow ball down and the, uh, and not, the poison putting that big piece. This, this is so like trying to get through these shadow balls is very confusing to me. Yeah, I, right. I don't know how I approach them either. Like it's when they're a, out. It's one of the most powerful projectiles in the game, so it's actually very, very difficult to get down. Without so, see, the Umbreon support help, but then Spud kind of just took control back, even even though he got hit by Umbreon. Let that sink in. So you just must respect it at all costs. It's horrible. 
Ooh, nicely timed. Yeah, damage. Dragon... Oh, oh, I no. get them all mixed up. Don't even ask me. I don't know either. Is it Dragon Rush? It's Dragon Rush. <laughs> Everything's Dragon Rush. Everything's Dragon Rush. There's Dragon Rush and Dig. Dragon Rush and Dig. <laughs> That's the only two ones. Okay. This, this is where I get terrified. Run. And... Just run. Oh, oh he did. He's gonna take that. Look, I frame. Yeah, he's gonna get. Good. He's gonna get like first punish yeah. on top of that. Oh, Ow! She's, oh my gosh. We oh, haven't yeah, seen Mega a... Gengar. Just run all the way to the edge of the screen. He was already at the edge, though. He no, was, he, was, he, was he was pretty neutral to him. I mean, he's kind of like in the corner. Anyway, so is there taking game two? He's going to game three? Oh, yes, he's going to game three. Yeah, so that's the fact. What will SK Dale do? It looked like he picked battle again. No changes. It looks like SK Dale is kind of here with the Gengar matchup. He has to play a Hey, what, what you gotta do, assuming you really have not burned out yet, is just take a deep breath. Yeah. Because Gengar can get irritating a lot. And just you... like, thanks, you for care. I don't even know. I know, the only thing I remember with thanks a lot, but what's his face? And I, I don't know why the Japanese Gengar is playing on me right now, but that guy at Worlds. Yeah, like, no, I just had to delay everything I did. Versus yeah. Gengar, and once I did that, then it all went nice. Because you get, you got it. He's a reaction-based character. You push a button, see, you push mm -hmm. a button, he counters back more damage, or he gets a reset. That's really all you have to worry about. And then see how he's just countering everything, taking the damage back, and then rebating back. <laughs> but oh, whoa, that, that hurt. Escondil is not gonna take that yeah, hypnosis. I wouldn't take it either. Go. Which is weird. Spud never hits hypnosis, and the one time he hits it, he gets like tailed in the face. He's probably never hitting it. <laughs> he's feeling confident. Sir Spud. That's true. That confidence. Yeah. Might want to tone it down. You gotta realize who you're dealing with. I know. SK Dale is not <laughs> the way to deal with this. Level. All right. So Gengar is not gonna be aggressive during yeah, this. I think they could, you know, take the little synergy bits and probably get burst. On one. The, 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 the he needs burst. Yeah. If he takes burst, then he's damaged big right. time. There we go. There we go. Let's see how it's gonna happen. Right. Um, they both got burst, but at least they bad. can contest with each other. No, they're bad. What do you mean it's bad? It's bad for Garchomp. I mean, it, if Gengar's in burst, spirit. if Gengar's in burst, Garchomp will. <laughs> so he technically just has to run. I mean, I guess it's better than not being in. Kind of. I don't know. Oh no, he's playing Undertale. Yeah, because Toho is in Asia Slash. Just stay there and block. Stop countering. Just stay there and block. Or at least he has Umbi. Oh, oh, like oh nice oh, no. bait. Oh no. He drops the combo. He won't counter with pressure, but he drops his shield. He's spooked. SKL is having a little bit of trouble. And why did I think that was wrong? Oh, no. oh my gosh, the CADC saves everyone. Playing it careful, see how the reaction Oh my god, Spud's uh, just like pick, ability to pick up people's habits is just astounding. Yeah. Pray. That's bad. This is bad. He's going on just super offensive right now. Mm. Ooh, nice counter because coming off for Sir Spud, putting on the pressure on the Shadow Punch. Like, I get the vibe that I think Spud knows what all he can get away with right now. He can get away, he's playing Garcha. He can get away a lot. <laughs> Is this yeah. matchup actually bad for Garchomp? Yes. But he's not too blind. Is that, am I saying that right? He like does the fist up in here. Uh, that's 8Y. 8Y? Yeah. If he 8Ys his, you know, jump ins, he can hit Gengar out his iframes mm -hmm. if he races the first one. But Gengar was like stopping from jumping in on Garchomp. That's true. I did not see him jump very much at a certain point. Yeah. That's because he didn't. All he had to do but was play the I know, I know what he, what Spud did, I think, was he had did like Sludge Bomb or whatever that was. I guess it had just enough counter for him so that AY didn't hit it. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know, he just never jumped again um, and SK Dale, like, never hit AY, so it's like, he was free to do whatever he wanted. If Gengar's jump against Garchomp, it's super bad. Because rather, it can go for an AY, like I said, or they can go for the drill, or they have enough time to, like, counter. And then when you're underground, they're like, they have active frames to punish that. So you might want to be careful and you have to back away, and then they can just be aggressive, and you have no way to counter on that, because if you're pressuring Gengar, that's Gengar's downslide. But if Gengar has that mid-game, and has time to see what you're going to do between time, then that Gengar is literally just going to blow through you with counter, you know, just counter moves. Like, I wonder how much mileage you would get if you just sat there and blocked him. Just, like, you know, even if you just took the whole round, because you blocked too yeah. much, like, just watch what the other person's doing to you, and just take you. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's literally you should just do, do that first. Just do that against Gengar. It's like he did that versus Zap, and he did very, very well. But no, no, who did that? 
I don't know, somebody did that earlier and it went very, very well. And I was like, mm, 